Hello YouTubers, this is a very specific video, um, it's about the Chinese clone uh, BMS and can it charge two of these Chinese clone batteries in parallel. At the moment I've got the white battery discharging via the charger, um, the reason for that will become apparent shortly. Again, very quickly, this isn't really a how-to, um, just to see if this is viable. Um, if you're going to do it, you'll need to um, turn this connection and this connection um, into two via a Y adapter. You can make one yourself or buy them. Um, I did a very temporary um, jury rig thing here where the balance leads to there. And I bought this um, to go into those there. Um, just give me a second to plug that all in. And the finished wiring um, should be something like this. There's the BMS and each of those sockets um, or plugs um, become two via a Y splitter arrangement. One goes to two here, one goes to two here. So those two will go to one battery and those two will go to the other battery. Um, keeping everything as stock as possible, the stock Chinese clone power supply that goes into the socket there and that should do it. Just to make things confusing, the um, clone board batteries are six cell batteries, um, but the BMS is wired up for a five cell arrangement um, because it shares one of the leads from here. Um, as a result of that, if you're going to buy this, look for a 5SY parallel splitter or adapter. Don't go for a 6S. And again, because I've converted my white battery into a 6S plug, um, I made yet another plug um, or extension to take it back down to a 5S arrangement. So when this is all wired up, ignore this. This is just to take this back to a 5S cell or battery pack. Now before I wire these up, it should be noted that the advice for charging parallel battery packs or battery packs in parallel is to ensure that the differences between the cells is within 0.2 volts. Um, some people go with 0.1 volts. Um, the reason why I had one of these packs discharging was um, I've already tried this charging between or the BMS and the battery packs and I know it works. And they were um, too close. So I discharged one of them to increase the difference. Um, only to uh, 0.1 of a volt, which I shall show you now. This is the white pack and we have 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, 3.8 .8, and so on. Uh, the black pack now. And this is the black pack and we have 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3.9 and so on. So they're within um, 0.2 volts. Something to keep in mind when you connect the two battery packs together, um, even before you connect it to that, um, use this first, the thicker of the leads. Um, there will be initially a high surge of current between the two battery packs as the voltages try to equalize. As you can imagine, connecting these together in parallel, one will be higher than the other, so there will be something going on between the two of them as to try to match. You need the thicker leads to accommodate that initial surge of current. What I tend to do, and um, I don't think anyone else does this, I think I'm probably erring on the side of safety, but I will Connect that to the thicker leads first, wait 30 seconds, then connect those um, to the wire adapter, wait another 30 seconds as each individual pairing of cells um, or pair of cells equalize. For example, um, say that was cell one, two, and three, and that's cell one, two, and three. These will be seen as one cell by the charger or the BMS. These will be seen as another. Um, single unit of cells or a pair and again with those and between those two will be um, a surge of currents and between those two and between those two as they try to equalize and match that will be done via the thinner leads 
So do the thick ones first, get that initial larger surge of current out the way, then do the thinner one. And again, wait 30 seconds and then connect to the BMS. Okay, first thing to use that, to connect those two together and wait 30 seconds. Okay, I've done that and waited 30 seconds. Now I'm going to use the thinner gauge wires and connect the balance leads and wait 30 seconds. And that part's done. Um, again, keep in mind, this bit here is the adapter I made to reconvert this cell back down to the same um, connections as this. Your arrangement, if you had two of these, would be much simpler. You won't have this bit in the way. Okay, now the BMS um, will see this as one larger um, battery pack of the same voltage as one of these. And I can show you that by doing by doing that. That's batteries in parallel connected to the multimeter and the reading is 23 and a half volts. Now to connect the leads to the BMS. To mimic the way this works when it's on the board, we're going to connect the leads to the BMS first, then plug the power supply into the socket. Okay, that's that all sorted out. And now to the PSU, green light. I shall plug this into that, and that should turn to red. Again, I can't do it one-handed, so give me a second. Success. Now I'm going to let it do its thing, and see if it auto stops and gets to the right voltage. I'm also going to keep an eye on the temperature. Whilst it's charging, it's a good opportunity to give you a couple of updates. One of the reasons I'm doing this is I've been asked by a few people, can the BMS be used as a charger um, to charge two batteries in parallel? So this is answering that question. The other reason I'm doing it is um, my next project after I finish this is to turn one of the Chinese clone boards into a two rule drive Chinese clone board using as many stock parts as possible. Um, as a result of that um, I'm going to want two batteries to keep the range reasonable. Um, if I'm going to use two batteries I might as well work out how to charge them in parallel. And lastly for those of you who saw um, my video about repairing this particular battery um, you know you're not meant to do that really so I did it and very tentatively tested it afterwards and it seems to be okay I've used it um, on quite a few trips and I think I was very lucky and got away with it. The charging is finished. Um, when I say finished, I had to stop it a little bit early. This was getting far too warm. Yeah, I mean, it's still very warm now. It was almost too hot to touch for more than three, four seconds. In fact, it still is very, very warm. Anyway, so I stopped it early. Um, this is fine. Uh, not a problem, it's the power supply. So let's quickly check the voltages on this. Um, because I ended it prematurely, um, I don't expect it to be um, exact or the same, but I do expect them to be um, coming together in voltages. So let's have a look. Okay, white battery first, the first cell. 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, 3 3.9, 3 3.9 and so on. Okay, so 3.9 is the average. Okay, and the black battery next. 3.9, 3.9, 3.9. 3.9 and so on. So um, you can see the voltages um, have gone up and um, are getting more similar. So <coughs> technically the BMS will do it and I know from past experience um, this will stop at um, the correct voltage but it got very warm then and it's very warm now um, so I wouldn't do this uh, at least not with this and if you're going to replace this you might as well just get a off-the-shelf third-party battery charger um, which would be more capable of this ad hoc arrangement. Yeah, so technically that will do it, that won't, and I wouldn't bother anyway. And I almost forgot, so until next time, bye for now.